and switchblades, the evolution is as shattering as modern warfare would be to the veteran of the Civil War. Drugs and the battle over distribution rights is one reason for the change. There is a recklessness in today's gang wars that make even the prohibition battles of the 1920s pale by comparison. There were, in those days at least, and by the direction of crime bosses, some ground rules. Civilian deaths were to be avoided. You tried not to kill law enforcement officers. It is worse, of course, in some places than others. Among the worst of all is Los Angeles. Well, lives are shattered as Southland gang violence once again takes its toll. Police are still trying to put together the pieces of a shooting on East Adams Boulevard. Gunfire erupted at a party there, and when the shooting stopped, one man was dead, at least five people injured, some seriously. Once they join the gang, their chances of going to jail, prison, getting shot, stabbed, or killed go up dramatically. It's another night of gang violence in Los Angeles. Two young men killed, one stabbed to death, the other shot to death in what the police say was an act of revenge. Los Angeles, California, also known as the birthplace of gangs. Gangs originated in 1920 and started as neighborhood protection. They did community outreach, did giveaways, food donations, missionary work, and continue these beliefs, values, and missions today. America has true love for the outlaw, so much so that it is glamorized. From Scarface to Hell's Angels to Sons of Anarchy, the violent, bandit, fugitive, and crook has been praised in society and even capitalized for millions of dollars in America. However, similar celebrations have not been in favor or support of African American gangs. Instead, African American gangs have been depicted in the media, news outlets, films, music, and television for decades as violent, brutal, criminals, uneducated groups of individuals, and targets for police brutality and government scapegoats. In reality, gangs such as Bloods and Crips are just disconnected brotherhoods spread across the country with diverse membership. There is a white gang privilege that exists, where white gangs are legitimized in America, have streams of revenue, and can even kill police officers. Unfortunately, black gangs do not have legitimate corporate branding, nor are they perceived as human beings in America. Gang members have the power to change their lives. A young man named Deontay Williams shares his insight on going from the streets to spirituality. We have toy drives during Christmas, backpack giveaways for kids when they're going back to school, and we help protect each other in our community. I really didn't start day man until probably about 12 or 13 when I was in middle school, going to high school. Uh, my best friend got killed, so that made me look at life different because he was the person I was spending time with, gang banging and stuff and doing bad stuff. So after he got killed, that made me just take, take a minute by myself to look at life differently and to try to do better for me, myself, and my family. My older homies taught me to stay with sports and go to school and to be a leader and not follow everybody else and just do your own thing. Um, I teach the younger youths that to be themselves, that you can be a leader, not a follower, and that you can change you and the people that you love around you by going to college and getting a job and just staying on a straight path. Gangs didn't always start off like that. We were here to protect the community and protect each other from intruders coming into our community. Everyone in a gang is not a stereotype. Some of us have careers and some of us go to school. Some of us are entertainers and celebrities. Um, everybody has the power to change, so if you are in a gang, get out of it and just stay on the straight path and do what's right and follow the Lord. There is a need for this video to exist because black gangs have been devalued as humans. There is an extreme lack of humanity when exploring gangs and gangs actually make up a huge portion of society.